I'd say considering, if you're building a new house, I would say to consider some of the things that we've done. Uh, consider, if, especially if you can get a, a grant from the state, which we did, uh, consider solar power as, as a main source of energy, especially on a tracking panel that tracks the sun. The tracker panels are 30 to 40 percent more efficient than just mounting solar on a south-facing roof. Uh, definitely consider geothermal. There's a popular misconception out there that green buildings are expensive or need to be expensive. The reality is every project has a budget and every project has its limitations. The, the decision making process that goes into how do, you, how do you allocate those funds, how do you use those funds is where a green building fits in. Sometimes you just by putting more design effort or more thought into the design to get a, uh, a 3,000 square foot house down to a 2,500 square foot house, all of a sudden provides all the cost savings you would ever need for solar panels or a better envelope or the other type of things people would think of on a green project. You know, we're, we happen to be at a time where the incremental cost of doing um, something net zero is, is in a way lower than it's ever been because the more this happens, the more the trades learn about it and realize they don't have to put some kind of high markup on it because it's not as exotic as they thought more products and services available in the market and of course there are subsidies for most parts of this. And, and now there's federal incentives to do this for solar and geothermal there's a 30 percent federal tax credit for this uh, is in some cases if it's your primary house there's a state tax credit there are often state grants involved it's uh, I would that's what I would consider. Because you know this is kind of an example for this area too uh, it's more than just a house for Larry and Nancy it's uh, I think his intention was that, and he, he, he told us that, that he wanted to be a guinea pig in a way, but you know, he was willing to do it. He had the, the courage to do it. So. so I certainly learned a lot. I think our builder learned a lot. I think the carpenter subcontracts learned a lot. I think the lumber companies who supply the materials started to think more consciously about whether or not they were getting sustainable harvested materials. To me, to work with uh, the contractor, work with the subcontractors, who work with the designers, all the people who touch this project and, and to find solutions that can be better for the environment on the many different levels that there are uh, is really satisfying. Oh, I love it. I think we did a good job. I mean, I'm proud of what we did. Yeah. Uh, I hope other people see it the same way. But it's a beautiful, beautiful home. And I think it's going to function real well for, for them. You never know, I guarantee you, there's going to be a lot of things from this project that, that, that get incorporated over over again on different, on different projects. It's really, it's really the small things. It's really just knowing, uh, again, knowing the sources, knowing where to get the, uh, you know, to, knowing where to get floor adhesive that doesn't have uh, high VOC content. The little things like that, um, knowing where to get certain uh, source, source wood, knowing, knowing where to get the materials locally. Uh, really, that's that's the that's the the biggest thing that will will constantly become part of every become part of every project. There's a handful of these people all my age. We all got into this uh, in the mid '70s uh, out of an interest in solar energy and interest in, in energy efficient building. And um, it's heartening to see that there is a next generation uh, very interested and willing to take take this on. And we are purposefully mixing them into the group so the group is half that and we get to pass this stuff on they'll take it further and they're extremely enthusiastic it's it's wonderful that there's that level of energy in, in the next generation and I wanted this to be a model of what one potentially could do various components but I, I feel really good about it I feel good about the workmen and how they didn't have to breed noxious chemicals that we were educating contractors and subcontractors along the way that my crew was uh, yeah, very proud of the work here. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah. Our daughter wrote a book called uh, Green Remodeling, Changing the World One Room at a Time. Uh, she wrote a number of years ago, but uh, she's probably our chief critic. Uh, so I had her in the back of my mind a lot of the time. So would Kim like this? Or would she, what's she going to think of it? I'm, I think she'll like it. Green building just won't be called green building. It's, it, it, green building is the future, and it's not a specialty. And it was fun. You know, I, I miss the guys who were here working. They were great. <laughs> no, I feel good about it. I feel we tried to do everything 
from the landscaping to the house to everything the way it ideally should be done. So, no, it's, uh, I'm very happy here. It's my dream house. <laughs>